name is Jeff Wilson with Chevron, and uh, very much appreciate the opportunity to uh, update the city council and the community on our Coke Drum project. Uh, I want to take two seconds just to recognize and highlight uh, Rod Spackman. Many of you know that our manager of policy, government, and public affairs, my boss, so that means subtle, be nice to me, please. And uh, my colleague, Jill Brunkhart, that I think you know, that's uh, a long-standing part of the community. So I've got a, I've got a couple slides I want to go through here, but uh, we've, got, uh, we've got a significant project underway that I'm uh, confident you've all heard about, and it's what we're calling our Coke Drum Reliability Project. Um, very important for our asset, our refinery up in El Segundo, that uh, you probably know just celebrated its 100th year anniversary, but this is a very important activity because we need to replace six very large steel drums that make up the core element of our coker unit. And this is important to maintain and help ensure the continued operation of our refinery because, in fact, the coker unit and the drums we're going to describe was originally constructed in 1968. And we need to replace those six large steel drums that you see before you that are important to part of the refining process. The drums are not small. They're 100 feet long, they're 30 feet in diameter, and they weigh about a half a million pounds apiece. And we have been working uh, collaboratively with uh, the cities of Redondo Beach, with, of course, Formosa Beach and Manhattan Beach and El Segundo uh, over the last several months in a, in a planning exercise to bring these drums in uh, to be replaced and uh, we've got quite a story to tell. The drums were manufactured in Spain, and unfortunately, we could not have them. We couldn't find a domestic manufacturer that could meet the scale, the metallurgy, and the scope of this project. And so interestingly, they, they uh, were manufactured at a facility called Odessa, Spain. They were shipped on a specialty configured cargo container that you can see there up in your left-hand corner. Uh, went on a 7,000-mile voyage, left about around the holidays, and just about uh, two and a half, three weeks ago, arrived in the Port of Los Angeles where we can see one of the physical drums being offloaded. And from there, we will be barging the drums over the course of three weeks, two at a time, into Redondo Beach, King Harbor where we will be rolling the drums off uh, via two special pieces of equipment that you're going to be familiar with in a second called SPMTs, uh, self-propelled modular transport vehicles. These are the actual vehicles, same type that were used to move the space shuttle. And from King Harbor, the SPMTs will move uh, down what's called Mole B, if you're familiar with the Spectrum and the Blue Water Grill. Um, we've, got a, we've been working with not only the city of Redondo Beach, but also a private leaseholder, Marina Cove, to utilize the long, skinny stretch, what's called Mole B, which I'm going to show you here shortly. And from the mole, we're going to move them up to uh, the corner of PCH and Redondo underneath the SCE transmission lines that we've used as a staging area. So logistically, you can see the Redondo King Harbor will enter the harbor about uh, at daybreak. We'll bring a barge, which is 240 feet long and, and about 60 feet wide, and we'll moor it uh, temporarily at the end of Mole B. And you can see Mole B there at the, uh, at the fingertip of the Q-tip, we like to call it, at what's called Moonstone Park. And during the course of the day, we will offload the drums, again, utilizing these two SPMTs in a pretty straight exercise, a straightforward exercise, using like a crane that's going to have a pre-engineered ramp, specially configured, that will put the, the, uh, the, the ramp on the barge, and we'll pull the drums off. And from that point, using our SPMTs on uh, Monday night, and we're target, this is a weather permitting targeting next Monday, February 18, the SPMTs will move the drums up from roughly to 11 o'clock at night till about, you know, about 12.30 probably uh, in the morning to bring them into that SCE staging area where then over the course of the next day they'll be transferred to a, a secondary piece of equipment that you see on your right hand side called the Mamut California Dolly. The company that Chevron has retained and hired to execute uh, the, all the aspects of the heavy lift, they call it, of this mood is called Mamoud, and they are renowned across the world as the big move, big lift experts. One of the very exciting parts of this is that piece of equipment on your right is called the California Dolly. It was built specifically purpose-built to meet Caltrans on-highway 